why are you still single? I can't even tell you how many times I get asked that question. And I'm sure all you single people get asked that question. I usually reply with, I'm not single, I'm whole. And most people just look at me like I'm crazy, which I probably am. That's okay. I would rather be crazy and be in the mindset that I live in now versus normal and be in the mindset that I used to uh, live in. So single has such a stigma about it as if you need to be with a partner in order to be fulfilled. And I remember even when I moved to the state feeling like if I didn't have someone to go with me to family functions, like I was less than my family members who did. And that's, that's my issue, obviously. Um, but I would start to panic because I knew I'd be asked the questions, um, if I didn't have someone. So why am I still single? I'm whole. Uh, but I have spent my entire adult life being in a relationship minus the last two years. And I, when I say that, it's because I got married when I was 18 and then I got married again when I was 26 and it's just been constant. Okay. I need I need someone and I kept living that cycle and I kept focusing all my attention on on someone all the time and here I was like begging myself for my own attention and my own love and uh, I was ignoring myself so I have spent the last two years just focusing on me and yes I've I've dated here and there, Um, but I find that I have better relationships with people now, relationships, friendships, acquaintances, whatever you want to call them, like just meetings, because I can meet someone and not have any type of agenda. When you have agendas, you reek of agenda that you can fill the agenda energy, Um, and I've had that my whole life, agenda, 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 like what can I get next, Um, and I was seeking to get all the time instead of like seeking, not seeking, but being here, and I honestly don't even, even know if or when I'll ever be ready for a commitment. I know I say I want one someday, and maybe I will someday, but right now, I love the life that I've created for myself. I've been able to do things that I didn't know I could do, uh, like write a book, and I'm already starting on my second book, Um, and take myself on trips, and do the Spartan races and meditate and just be alone for the first time. And I grew up in a huge family, so I was never alone. I would go hide just to get away from people. Um, So getting to experience this alone time, I say um a lot. I realize that. Oh, well. Getting to experience this alone time and getting to know me, I love being with me. I love going to see whatever movie I want to go see, going on a hike, going paddle boarding, taking myself out to dinner, going and having a drink at the bar, if that's what I want to do, or doing absolutely nothing. I don't have to think about it. I don't have to to ask someone. I don't have to feel like I can't do something. And those are the types of relationships that I've chosen. And if I ever get into another one, 
it will be two people who have their own lives and complement each other and don't have agendas and don't have timelines and don't have titles. And that's great if that's what you want for your life and that's what you're living. I'm not knocking anyone here. I'm just answering the question and trying to get past the stigma of the single status. You're born into this earth freaking naked and alone. But you have you. You're going to leave the earth naked and alone. Well, you'll be dressed probably, but... um. But literally naked, like your soul is going gonna, is gonna to go. So if you don't learn to be here and like love yourself and adore yourself, and then it like makes life harder, you know? It really does. And I'm speaking from experience. I'm not preaching at anyone. I'm just speaking from full on, full blown, lots of experience. And... I wouldn't trade it. I love that I've had those experiences and I love that it's brought me here. And I love the fact that I can and get to enjoy this time with me. So if you, any of you are struggling with that stigma, um, it's nothing to feel bad about. It's in fact, it's an amazing thing. It's all what you make it. And, uh, like I said, I, this is where I choose to be right now. And I could be here a very long time. I could be here for the rest of my life. I don't know. I love, love, love this life that I've, I've created. And I don't know that I want anything different right now. So if that is you and you have those guilty feelings or you get asked those questions, um, it's just ignorance from the other side or, you know, they, they want your well-being and what their well-being is for you is what they think it is so don't let people don't allow other people to let you feel bad own it love it and take advantage of getting to have you like that is so amazing excuse me that is so amazing that you get to have you like think about that If you've given yourself away your entire life, like you get to have you. And you can even do that in a relationship if you're in one where you're kind of pulling. That's the most, like the most successful, amazing relationships I see from an outsider are those two people that have their own lives. They understand each other and they, like I said, they don't have agendas. They just show up and they do what they do and they compliment each other. It's beautiful. So, with that being said, you are not single. You are whole. You were born that way. You'll always be that way. And you don't need to have anybody by your side to complete you because that's impossible. If that's something you want, great. But you don't need that. And you don't need to please anybody else by having that. 